What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast, and behind me, we have our 2019 Ram Rebel. Now, if you guys have been following along, we've definitely done a whole lot of modifications to this truck in the last little while. And today, I wanna to say a big thanks to Cab Over America for our next product that we're gonna be putting on this truck. And I think it's definitely gonna be a welcome addition to everything else that we've done on this truck. So here it is, everybody, our new addition to the build. And what we have here is some wireless cab lights for the truck. So I really do like the way that these look. I do have them on my one ton. And the problem with having none from the factory is with most kits, you're gonna have to drill holes into the roof to run the wiring, to mount them, all that kind of thing. And with this product from Cab Over America, these are wireless and non-drill. And they also solar charge from the top. So let's get everything out of the box and have a look at everything that comes in the kit. All right, so we got everything laid out here on the bench. As you can see, they do have a clear version, a amber version, and a smoke version as well. And then we have our rubber pieces here that are gonna go over top of our mounting plates with our 3M tape on the bottom. Once we got everything prepped, measured, and where exactly we wanna put these. And then over here we have our lights. You can see the solar panel on the top. So as far as the light operation goes, you got your remote with the two buttons. The one with the little sun on it, that's your on button. So you just wanna hold that down until all your lights come on. And if you accidentally let go of the button before all of them come on, just hit the on button once again. Do not hit the off button, otherwise it'll make everything go out of sync. And then you gotta take the light that's out of sync, far enough out of range of the other lights, just so you can get it back into the right sequence, and then bring it back and no big deal. But to switch between the modes, you just wanna turn them off, then turn it back on. We got our strobe mode, turn it off, turn it back on. We got our bright mode, we go off, back on. We have our low light mode, which is pretty much what you're gonna run on the highway. And also if your state does require you to have a amber light, they do have these amber pieces of plastic that are gonna go over top of the light so you can run a clear or a smoked lens with your light and still be able to be legal. So definitely drop in the comments, what color should we run on the Rebel? Should we go with the clear, the amber, the smoked? Should we run it with a amber fill in it? I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna go with the smoke. That's really gonna go with our theme, how we got some of the other stuff blacked out on the truck. And I think just to stay legal, I'm probably gonna go with the amber as well. But definitely drop in the comments what your thoughts would be. If this was your truck, how would you set it up? So the next thing we're gonna do is prepare our surface. You can use a isopropyl alcohol 50-50 mixed with water and just take a rag, go up on top. Make sure you clean off any kind of grease or oils or anything that might be up there that's gonna keep your 3M tape from sticking. So now that we have our surface nicely clean, they do give you this really nice tape measure that has a zero in the middle. So what you wanna do is make sure you have the same number on a reference point. I use the rain gutter here and then just use some tape here to hold this in place. Cause I am doing this by myself. It is a little bit more difficult. If you have a friend around to help you measure this out, it will be a whole lot easier. But I basically have 26 showing on either side on the rain gutter and then I have my zero in the middle. And the nice thing about having the panoramic sunroof is I can open that up and I can kind of just look directly at where the zero mark is on the tape and then I can set my lights as far apart as I want to and make sure that they're evenly spaced or if you want to group them in the middle, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to evenly space these for mine, but this just really gives you a nice way to reference and everything should be nicely aligned and evenly spaced. All right, so I got my two outer light plates in place and you can see I got a bit of a curve to it just to kind of contour with the roof. Being that these are aluminum, you can just bend them and make them fit to your roof. You wanna have as much surface area touching the roof as possible with the 3M tape. So you just kind of take it with your hand and just give it a little bit of a bend. Just so when you set it on whatever curvature of your roof you're putting it on, that it's not gonna move around or anything like that. Just not gonna give the opportunity for dirt or anything to get underneath there and give you a really nice bond. So I took a dry erase marker and I marked my zero mark right there. So I'm gonna go up through the sunroof, set my middle plate in place, give it its curvature, get that one there and then kind of figure out where the other two lights are gonna go. Then I'm gonna mark where the plates are gonna end up permanently and just kind of measure the distance from the windshield on each one to make sure that they're all exactly the same. Then I can remove my measuring tape and then we can go and actually put these on once and for all and get our lights installed. All right, so I have all of my adjustments made. Everything is nicely to the curvature of the roof. I measured from the windshield to each one, so they are exactly where I want them, and they're lined up on our tape. So then what I did is I took a window marker, which is just gonna rub off the paint once we're done, 
and I just kind of traced out around each plate so we know exactly where they need to go when we remove our measuring tape. Now this is a little extra step that I do just to kind of make sure that all the two-sided tape adheres as well as possible. This is Sika Activator 205. I just take a Q-tip and I just prime the surface on the truck and I prime the actual tape itself on the back of the plate. And then when you put those two together after you let them dry for about 10 minutes, you get a really, really good bond. And it does help to have the warm weather as well when you're installing these. So definitely make sure that it's, you know, at least above 50 degrees before you try to apply these things to your truck, especially cold metal. It's not gonna wanna stick as well. So definitely a clean surface, a prime surface, and a warm surface is gonna give you the best adhesion possible. And now that our tape and our surface is primed, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in place and hold down firmly for about five to 10 seconds. And there it is. We have all the plates installed on the truck. Everything held really nicely. It is a pretty warm day today. It's probably 80 degrees out. So everything's stuck really well, especially with the primer. So now we can install our rubber grommets, put in our lights, and then we can put the lenses over top. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with all three different options of lens color. So now we have all of our lights in their place. They just kind of sit into this rubber section right here. Just kind of fit them in. You'll find where they sit nicely and they don't move around at all, but they just kind of sit within that rubber and you want to make sure that your solar panel is on top. And then there's a little piece of plastic that's over top of the lens. You want to remove this just from manufacturing. Take that off on all of those, get them all in place and we're ready for our lenses. All right, so here is the smoked look without the amber inserts. So you get that white light look, turn them off, hit our strobe mode, this is the bright mode, and then back to dim. And then here they are in amber. And clear. Now if you're like me and you wanna have the amber color but you still wanna have a smoked or a clear lens, I'm just gonna take these that come in the kit as well, and pull off the backing, and then you've got a sticky side. And you take your light and just place it over top of the lens. Just like that. And then you've got a amber LED within a different colored lens. And then we have my preference, the smoked look with the amber light. And this is with one of those little amber squares put over top of the LED light. They do give you enough to do two on each, so you can make it a little bit more orange rather than kind of the yellow that you see right now. This is on the low mode right now, but I think what I'm gonna do is actually double them up to make them a little bit more orange, just to kind of match my signal light on my mirror. And here you can see the color change difference between having the double ambers over on these three and just a single over here. It's definitely a very big difference on how much orange light you wanna get out of it. And there we go, we got all the ambers corrected. Everything is looking exactly the way I want it to. Now it's time to put the nuts to hold them into place. There's just a little stud on each one of the plates and it's an 8.30 seconds nut driver and they recommend torquing it down to 15 to 20 inch pounds. So there it is everybody. We do have everything nicely tightened down. I'm probably gonna let these soak in the sun for a little bit and just kind of give them a one final go around, tighten them up, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and let these charge up in this beautiful Pennsylvania sunshine we have today. But I do really think they make the truck look a whole lot more sporty. Kind of gives it more of like a power wagon look and I absolutely love the way they look on the truck. And I'm just so happy that I didn't have to drill into my cab to get the look that I got out of this product. So another big thanks to Cab Over America for helping me out with this product. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down. <laughs>